have a couple of ducks again this morning. They come and eat the leftover bird seed from the, the wild bird feeder. It just sort of falls down. There's the feeder there. We've got a short bit Corella this morning. There are some more around, but there's just one at the feeder at the moment. And then a little rainbow lorikeet there as well, waiting for his turn. And there's the ducks. I did throw them some seed as well. And then, where's the ibis? There's the ibis. It's a big water bird. Huge long beak. So that's what we've got this morning. We did have the kookaburras a bit earlier. I fed them. And the corellas. So there we go. That's what we've got today. See you next time. G'day guys, welcome back again. Look at these lovely bright colours. Really changing it up a bit today, aren't I? From the blues and greens and whites. No white to be seen. Black, purple, orange, turquoise and hot pink. Yay! <laughs> Could go badly wrong, but anyway, we'll see. 70% glue, 30% water for my pouring medium today. And in saying that, I did go 60 grams of pouring medium, 50 grams of black, and the same with the orange. 60 grams of pouring medium, 50 grams of paint, because they were so thick. These two were equal parts, paint and pouring medium, and the turquoise was extra thin, so it had 50 grams of pouring medium and 60 grams of paint so that they're all the same consistency. I'll jump up on my ladder and show you. I don't know if you can hear the neighbour, he's mowing. How inconsiderate, hey? Mowing when I'm trying to make a video on a Sunday afternoon. There we go, look at that mound. Can you see that mound on a mound? Relatively thick. Leaves a little trace on top, a little ribbon. So that's it there, that's what you're going for. No point holding your stick way up here because you won't get a mound about an inch off the surface. You hold your stick too far up, there's too much weight dropping down and you won't get the mound. So just be aware of that. Treadmill silicone as usual. For cells, let's do three drops. I usually do one drop per 30 grams or one drop per ounce. So it's roughly three drops in these, these cups. Mm, the pink has got a little bit more paint, so ooh, I think two went in there. Give it a good stir. Here he comes again with his mower. Actually, the pink feels a bit thicker than the turquoise. The turquoise is always a thinner paint. I don't know why some paints are thicker than the others. It's just, uh, every brand seems to be the same. Must have something to do with the, um, the pigments and the densities. The blacks always look a little bit thick. I'm going to add a touch more water to that. Even though I have got less paint, I always seem to have trouble with the, the black and the white thickening up. Now I just want a little, a little mound. Okay, now I've sprayed my two cups. I'm just going to do two flips today instead of flip and drag. Just do the flip cups. So because I'm, I've only got two cups, I need to put more paint in. Because I'm still only going to do two layers. So I just have to put a little bit of extra paint in this time. So I'm still using half my cup on the first layer. And half on the second layer. Actually, I probably didn't need such big cups, come to think of it. My paint's mixed up in the small cups. And then I've got a medium, and these two are the larges. I probably didn't need the larges. Never mind, it's done now. 
hope these colours are okay together. Nice and bright. And goes the pink. I'll tell you what the colours are in a minute. Once I flip the cup over, I'll tell you what they are. So a good layer of each colour there. And then back to the black. I'm glad I added the extra water actually because it does feel a little bit thicker than the others. Let's scrape that out. I do have a little bit of black left. Actually, I've got a lot of black left from um, the workshop yesterday. Most people swiped with black. So if I need a little bit of black for my edges, I'll grab that. Even though it's a little bit thinner, it won't matter just as a fill-in sort of a paint for the edges. Oh, what's that? Something in there? Uh, I don't know. Looked as if it was. Maybe it was just the because I scraped the paint. I don't want to disrupt that paint too much. And I was also considering maybe I should do a two colours and then add a bit of black and then the other two colours instead of layering them all and then just the black on the end. We'll see how it turns out. See, black can sometimes take over or sometimes it just won't show up enough and you think, oh, I wish I'd put more layers of black in. So we will see. So I could have put black between the orange and the green. Maybe just a thin layer. I'll see how it goes. And if I need to do that next time, I can do that. Instead of having two thick layers of black, I could have you know, four thinner layers of black just to separate the colours a bit. We shall see. I do like these nice bright colours though, so hopefully they'll play nice together and not go too muddy. The mix is relatively thick, you know, it's a 70% glue, so they're relatively thick. Hopefully they won't uh, blend too much and go to mud, because that's what happens if your paints are too thin. They just all blend and get muddy and your cells get all big and wonky and out of shape. So you're better off having it a little on the thick side. But on the other hand, if it's too thick, your cells go all sort of grainy and hazy and they won't stretch because the mix is too thick. So that's something else just to be aware of. Hopefully there's enough black in here to make the statement I'm after. There we go. Okay, flip and flip, rightio. My colours are lilac, which is just purple and white mixed together to get a, a lighter shade of purple. And I have the regular orange. This one is called hibiscus. It's a limited edition colour, but I have shown you guys how to make that one. And regular turquoise and the black. And that is it. Got a bit of a messy bench here today, haven't I? My previous multicolored ring port was the primary colors. You can see the sort of the red and the yellow underneath. There's no point wasting a puppy petal pad. I can get a few pores out of these if I'm not too messy. Okay, now I don't want to drag these. I just want to basically flip them over. So, pretty colours. They always get a little join, the line where these cups join. There's nothing I can do about it. Now while that's sitting, I think I'm going to just get a little bit of black just to pop on my corners, just in case I need it. sitting under a cup here from yesterday. Keeps it nice and fresh. 
it's thickened up a little bit, so it should be fine. This was mixed one and a half to one for a swipe. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my corners, just in case. And you can use black because there's black in there, although, where is it? Can't really see it. I really wanted some more drama with the black, but we'll see what happens. Maybe the cells that pop up will be black. See, I'm gonna to have to start experimenting now using black because I've done a lot of experimenting with white pores. So I may do some with black, you know, black negative space. Maybe pouring a bit of black through my painting. All right, um, now I'm gonna do the same as I normally would do. Try and cover one side first before I torch. I just find that uh, I get a better result. The cells don't go too badly overstretched if I do that. I don't want to lose all that turquoise, that's gorgeous. You may just have to have a black corner there. I don't mind that at all. Wish I had more black in it. All right, let's go over here to this little corner. And back. I've got a cell there and it's not even on the card. That It's just floating in midair, that cell. Right, so I'll turn it around. Bring the weight of the paint down just a bit. And now I'm going to torch. Look at that cell, the orange ring and the turquoise ring. So pretty. Nice and high. With your torch, don't get too close. We've got a big colony or a caterpillar. So keep it going in little circles. You can always go over it again. I know you've heard me say it a million times. Sometimes I don't listen to myself and I over torch or I get too close. It, it is hard to do, you know. It doesn't always go to plan. Where's my black gone? I thought I had heaps of black. I can see it under there, but it's not coming up. I just flew in front of me. I should have torched him. All right, give that a minute. I've got my big paw behind me. It's too big to put a net over it, so I have to be really careful that the fly doesn't go into it. Just on the table behind me. Well, I really wish I had more black. It's just all gone. All right, let's tilt. all the way over here to get this side and then all the way back again to get the other side I don't want to lose those gorgeous little orange cells there in the purple don't they look pretty come back again to the middle change direction over there I don't want to lose that turquoise keep a little black on that corner too. Oh, look at that, that's so pretty. Orange, it's really popping. Oh, look, a black cell, a lone black cell. Hi, welcome. Glad you showed up. Could have brought your mates. You could have. Could have, should have, would have. Right, look at that stripe down the centre. I've got a multicoloured stripe down the centre. Now, wait back to the middle, change direction. Get that last little corner. And then I can see if there's anything else I want to do. Go 
slow because you've got to watch what's happening up here. You can't just watch that corner, you've got to watch this. And if this is all stretching out of shape, or this is all flowing off the edge, then you have to stop and rethink what you're doing. that again so I can see where the edge of my card is. Love these cards. They're nice and thick, they're 950 gram and I've got a lot of paint on here as well so they dry pretty flat. I have been selling some so in, in sets of two posting them out to the states. They're pretty cheap to post overseas so those people that have got them you'll, you'll know what I mean about them being Good and thick and not warping. Look at that! Oh, love it. it! Reminds me of the sunset. <laughs> oh, I gotta watch. I gotta watch what I say. <laughs> I set the dogs off. If I raise my voice too much, or if I say certain things, yes, you're annoying, aren't you? You too. Come here. Come here. Come and say hi to everybody. Hmm? Come and say hi. Climb up the ladder. I don't know how we're going to get you into film though. Oh. Look up. Look up, Bronte. <laughs> this is Bronte. Look up. There we go. Hi. <laughs> You're a noisy girl, aren't you? I'm going to shut the door. My own fault. I raised my voice. Oh dear. Close the door on them. I should just come in and shut the door. Now, I love this edge. The turquoise edge. I'm going to do these colours again, you guys. Love these colours. And no splitting of paint. And look at that beautiful lilac there. Why is it that they love those two side bits? Hmm? And in here, purple rings around the black cells. So pretty. Maybe I should have kept my black a little bit thinner. Uh, thicker, sorry. Because you know how I watered my... my black down a little bit more. I probably shouldn't because it's kind of been lost. So maybe that. But this, oh, I love this, you guys. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, do I want a torch? Maybe just a touch here. See, it's a bit plain here and a bit plain there. Love that. Dark side of the moon. Just a touch. Need to overdo it. Did I get anything there? I don't want to over. Oh, look at that. Peace. Alright, that'll do. You don't even know that they're popping up. But it's actually nice having the difference in sizes. Uh, as I said before in previous videos, I do like having different sizes. So I've got some little ones there, got some little ones there. They're not as pronounced, they're, they're darker, these ones. Um, and then the little ones there. Got a few little purpley coloured ones in here. Oh, it's so pretty! Love it! I'm going to take it down for a close up. Can't get over this one black cell on the bottom left. Yes, you. You know what I'm talking about you, don't you? I might have to try and do something with these colours with some black negative space because I think the black would really make these colors pop. I mean there's a little bit of black there but it's it's not enough from what I'm I'm wanting. Oh, it's so nice to have a painting with nothing split. And you can see the difference. Well, I hope you can see the difference with a flip cup rather than a flip and drag. You don't get it's not as stripy. Yes, you can see stripes, but they're kind of how can you explain it? They're kind of underneath each other. They're not a definite stripe, except for those in the middle there. Those middle stripes where the two cups joined. They've got a defined stripe to them, whereas the stripes over here um, are more blurred background stripes, but are so pretty. So I'm in the shadow. I'm causing a shadow, I should say, not in the shadow. Look at those gorgeous cells. Oops. 
when I get close like that the, the light changes I think the camera's auto adjusting but it's it's darker I'll have to stay up here that's that's the correct color even though I want to zoom in and show you I can't get that close whoops now I get too close and it changes color right oh very happy with that little one it's almost a shame I've done it on a card and not a canvas uh, but wouldn't it be nice a big one on a canvas with some more black if I can somehow get some more black in there I could do a flip and drag and pour some black in between here and there like I've done with my whites previously I'm sure that would be really pretty okay enough of me yabbering on it's still Sunday this is my fourth pour for the day uh, well actually it's five but I'm only showing you four because I scraped one yes I scrape pours <laughs> uh, quite often actually um, just like everyone else scrape pours you're not happy with something scrape it do it again lesson learned radio hope you've enjoyed that have a go at these colors and I'm gonna have to work out how I can get some more black in there and maybe turn down that purpley color a little bit because I really really like that turquoise on the right there righty oh that'll be it for now um, I'll see you for the next one bye for now